Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you all a bit about how language can be a powerful tool in your spiritual transformation. And at the end, as a bonus, I'm going to give you guys a quick one card tarot reading. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We've probably all heard that quote before. And I started off with that quote because this video is all going to be about language, the spoken word, written word, and how you can use it in your spiritual path, whether it's a religious path or a path of self-transformation. Language is a powerful tool, and knowing how to use it to its fullest is very advantageous. Now, I'm sure you've all seen this to some extent, where someone will be talking about themselves and... You can tell by the way they describe themselves or the words they use that they don't have a particularly high opinion of themselves. And the same is true for very successful people who have built up self-confidence. They use a very different set of words to describe themselves. Now partly this is because of them being successful or not being successful, but it kind of works both ways. In other words, the words that you use to describe yourself actually affect your subconscious image of yourself, your self-image, and then your self-image affects who you actually are and who you become and how you act. So take a moment right now to think about how you describe yourself to someone else. Would you put yourself down? Would you be saying, oh, I'm not that great at this, you know, trying to be modest, or would you perhaps be confident in yourself? Because the thing is, a lot of people, you know, they worry about describing themselves well, or they worry about using positive language to describe themselves because they think it's not modest, they think it's not okay to use that, they think they're being you know, selfish or whatever when they describe themselves well and they use a proper language. But the truth is, it's not about having the world's biggest ego or anything, it's about cutting out those ways that you describe yourself in a negative way and replacing them with something more positive. So if you go around telling everyone how poor you are, how unsuccessful you are, then you just reinforcing that self-image that you have of yourself and you're reinforcing the idea that you can't improve, that you can't change. Instead you should look on the bright side. First tell people or use things to describe the good things that you do have in your life. If you don't have a lot of good things then focus on the few good things that you do have and talk about those things more often. Be grateful for those things. Express your gratitude and when you are talking about the other things Try and look at them from a different perspective. So say you don't have much money, rather than you know going around saying I'm poor, I have no money, you can focus on how wealthy you feel inside and give yourself an attitude of prosperity and of that and then use that in your language. Talk about yourself as a wealthy person. It doesn't have to be wealth in terms of money, but when you start to feel wealthy, you'll start to attract money. And so changing the language you use about yourself changes your self-image. Now, the next part I want to get onto is particularly more to do with writing, and this is about actually keeping a journal, because if you watched any of my earlier videos, like my video on lucid dreaming, which I'll put a link to at the top now, then you may have seen what I said about keeping a dream journal and how it helps us to remember our dreams. Well, I also suggest having some kind of a regular journal, because for one, when you're on the spiritual path, whatever your particular path is and how you go about it, you're going to undergo some massive changes. You're going to really change as a person and discover who you really are. And during this time, you want to keep track of those changes because you'll see the things that you've learned along the way. And you'll also see the things that are working for you and the things that aren't. So, for example, if you've read my ebook, which I'll link to in a card, uh, then you'll know that it took me a while to come up with the method that I use. The method that I use for changing my circumstances and manifesting things into my life is a simple method that comprised of different parts. But the way I developed the method and the way I kind of sealed it in to be something solid that would work for me every time was by trial and error and making notes in a journal about what was working for me what wasn't and then combining the things that work best until I got something solid that was giving me results 100% of the time. So you want to keep notes and keep notes of little things as well. It doesn't have to just be related to your overtly spiritual path. It can be things like, you know, exercise you're doing, it can be, you know, job interviews and how you think they went, it can be business ideas and stuff like that. When you write down ideas, it frees up space in your mind because you don't have to remember it all in your mind. So your mind can be free to think up new ideas and do other things. So 
in a way this makes you more creative it improves your memory because some of your memory is written down and it just opens up so many opportunities for you and most importantly after you've seen how much you've progressed over a short period of time you realize that you're actually progressing a lot more and changing a lot more than you might realize inside because change happens gradually so you know from day to day you might notice that you're a little bit different than you were in the past but it's not so immediately obvious but if you say look at your journal entry from yesterday and then you look at your journal entry from three or four years ago you're just going to be amazed at how different the way you thought was what different attitudes you had to life what different things you wanted to do and having a record of this is so so useful for introspection for self-improvement uh, for really getting to the heart of what is the best spiritual path for us and what is the best path for us in life in general. Now, last but not least, I want to get on to what's perhaps the most important way that you can use language in combination with journaling to improve your life in some way. And the way that we do this is writing down what you want to have in the future write down what you want to have in the future set goals because most people don't get what they want in the future they don't achieve their goals because they never set an actual image for that goal in other words they don't have a clear idea of what they want they just say I want money I, I want love whatever but they don't specify how they want that they don't specify how much money what kind of job they want what kind of lover they want and all of this and if you specify this if you actually write this down and say I'm gonna get this then you suddenly find that you're actually starting to work towards the goal you're no longer putting it off because you have a feasible image of the goal in your mind and that changes everything so that's been what I wanted to say about language and I hope that's got some ideas in your mind and I hope you start journaling and I hope you start writing down your goals as well as changing the things that you say about yourself to more positive things so just quickly before I finish I'm gonna give you guys a one card tarot reading I'm gonna do this really quick so this one card is just gonna be the general theme for the day and that card is the king of wands reversed now the deck of wands is associated with fire the element of fire and I associate fire with power so immediately the king of wands to me is always a card of power but not like evil power just being strong in your will and having power to dictate your circumstances and to achieve the things you want in life so this reversed would perhaps be a sign to release some power and see how things go and let circumstances just happen the way that they're going to happen today leave a bit up to chance to fate whatever so I hope you enjoyed the quick reading and the video about language if you liked it and you want to be part of the community remember you can join us by subscribing for regular video updates. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or in my inbox. And if you want to watch more videos, there'll be a link to one now at the end of the video. Take care.